Now, remember, all of this, everything that we're doing is based on the three phenotypes of cognitive decline that Bredesen, Bredesen uses, inflammatory, atrophic, and toxic. Those are the things that we're going to go into more next time. Infam inflammatory phenotype, we've talked a lot about high blood sugar and insulin, major obesity, being overweight even, contributes to that inflammatory cycle. <clears throat> Exposure to foods that you're intolerant of, too much stress, that creates inflammation. Incorrect ratio of zinc to coffer, also inflammatory. Low glutathione and selenium, inflammatory. Sleep apnea, inflammatory. Leaky brain, leaky gut, leaky, leaky, inflammation. And then the chronic inflammatory response syndrome, SEERS, uh, which is another thing that we'll look at. And then autoantibodies of the, of the um, central nervous system. These are all components of that inflammatory phenotype that have to be teased out and find out what is, if, if any of them are relevant for you and then addressing them. The atrophic phenotype <clears throat> is the one where you don't have the, the nourishment that it takes to make proper brain cells and to have proper um, communication. So this can be because you're not getting enough cholesterol, either because you're not making it or because you're taking a, a statin to bring it down low. It could be because uh, your steroidal hormones are low because you're in menopause or andropause. You could have a low thyroid function, low magnesium, again, sleep apnea, the fat soluble vitamins, um, B1, and then mitochondrial damage. All these things make it hard to have the nourishment, the energy that we need to have a healthy brain. And then the final one, the final of the three phenotypes is a toxic phenotype that causes cognitive decline. This could be because of exposure to mold or mycotoxins, heavy metals, or a number of different infectious agents that undermine the quality of the brain. So again, our goals are to identify if the, if the blood-brain barrier is sealed, if it is not, then we'll seal it up. <clears throat> then we want to see what factors, what systems are involved for you in cognitive decline. Identify what those are and then, and then make a treatment plan for that. If there's something like in the toxin range, in the infectious range, something like that, in the food range, then we want to take those things 